Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jake up here. And so, Sonic Generations in the last episode, we did Speed Highway Section Challenge. Today, we're doing City Escape Section Challenge, along with the Shadow Live of Fight, which is how we're going to start today. So, yes, we've challenged a fight here. You are finally here, Sonic. I don't know where we, where we are, nor do I care. This is where I finish you, Sonic. This seems very abnormal for Shadow. He's usually a good guy, but... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he might be, like, the same one from SA2, because that would make more sense. Oh, yeah, definitely. As you can see here, they're making a very subtle reference to the intro of Sonic the 2 battle, where Sonic and Shadow are working together, grinding together, and all that. And they make that iconic pose. And this is at, this is a very this is trying to reminisce the fight from Sonic um Venture 2 and Final Rush. One thing I will tell you about this fight right here. It is worse than the final battle in Sonic Venture 2. Yes! And that is because you instead of attacking Shadow with Light Speed Dash, they go ahead of battle. You are now battle shot and if you go ahead of battle to get this purple orb. First to get it twice, unlock activate special technique. Shadows can easily kill you, but he will rarely get it, and if he does, what well, he does. If Sonic gets hit, it's just a different type of boost that allows him to break meteors, which is how you take Shadow down. Yup, it's it's a pretty interesting battle. I do like how Shadow can actually beat Sonic with a boot his own boost and everything. Yeah, so like people can actually hack Shadow into the game. Oh, you know what they do in the truck? Yep. He no. So they can basically just take this animation. He has he basically all the animations that Sonic has, even stuff like drifting, which you can't. He's like I can't perform. He actually does the animations for so mods for him would just take those. And with that. We got my full charge, and this is one of the things I was very confused about. Um, because um, when I played, I did not have Omo Chao's blessings that tell me how to do this. So I thought the meteors were obstacles, and I thought I was supposed to just catch up the shadow normally, and you know, hit him that way. Oh, you did? Yes. Because I did not have much out to tell me. So I honestly thought that those were obstacles that Sonic was supposed to dodge to get the shadow. But in reality, you can't actually do the boss without... You can't actually complete the boss without doing that. Yeah. There was also a really embarrassing glitch I do want to show off that comes along with Shadow's special. So we're going to do the hard mode and allow Shadow to get his special. Show off what the... What are the most embarrassing glitches in this entire game? Yeah. I remember before, I specifically remember telling Jacob about this, and he, well, he lost it. Yeah, I've heard only quite, what you said, this, you messed around with bun combinations, and he started doing the glitch. Yeah, the way you're supposed to use that for, let me show you. Yeah, I'll show you when you get there, so, basically speaking, the hard mode variant of this fight basically adds an extra um, time you have to get the portal, and I believe Shadow is a way faster AI in this one. So in this one, we're gonna let Shadow get the Red Wing three times, and basically, I guess show him who's boss in this case. I guess you can call it that, so. Bye, Shadow. Shadow uses is that notice when you get ahead of you that he's actually not boosting anymore. That's because he has something called a rubber bandy AI. If he's ahead of Sonic, he will start sucking and allow Sonic to catch up. So technically speaking, you can beat this without doing the boost. Yes. But however, we are trying to let him get the thing, so yeah. He also has a chaos view attack. He really he, he only uses it when up. Uh, Oh, good job. Wait, he only uses it when he's ahead of Sonic, so you will always see it. Not that bad. Anyway, 
We also have to go on the final um shadow final power up piece of shadow. Let's do collect it. No, he got. It. All right, let's try this again. Right, so what are you supposed to do? The mask the like this. No matter what, Shadow will do this. He will actually out one his character. Shadow, do the fucking glitch. Also, why is that how Shadow playing in the background? Last time I checked, the music that played here was a remix of Final Rush. Actually, I think it happens when he gets his... Wait! I think he did. Here we go. Okay, so if you do the glitch, Shadow will just keep on ramming at the wall. What is probably happening is his AI is getting confused. And basically speaking, he will just keep on doing this for indefinite. You can homing attack him. Will not change a thing. So I can just stand by him a ton. I'm like, is this what you think you like this, Shadow? Or do you really want to, like, what? Oh, you like Yeah, that's what you just kiss your So you can actually walk in him and push him. But no matter what you do, he will remain in this position. And, and he will not lose. That yeah, all the way. So. But if you hit him without wings, you can't do that. But you, now you can stand on him. You can stand on him? I didn't know you could do that. I never tried. I think you can. Man. Yes, you can. <laughs> hey, Shadow, nice playing then. Yep, it's gonna be like 10 and uh, 2 extra minutes, I know. <laughs> okay, then we actually all had 10 minutes, but once again, you are gonna cut along, so. Alright, so now you should do it the normal way. Yes, I will. Mm, thank you, finally, God. That took for freaking hour. Look at the time at the top. It took me for freaking hour to get that for a second time. But don't lose it! What is your shadows that they fast on this one? See, it's hit more me, you know, to hit him. So, this is that. Yeah, it's supposed to be 11 low and playing. Yeah. So, it's going to be a special thing for the um, special attack. It's a unique take in the fight, but it's a really annoying take on the fight. And a really tedious take. I would once again say that the original is way past battle. Because it's less competitive and. A lot more fun to play. This one's just very competitive and very boring. Yeah, I made some fun out of it by doing the glitch, but you know, it took me a lot longer to actually do the fight, so it was that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, he actually got the his special attack two two more times. You want to tell them that? Yes. Because I have no reason to other than exploding with different Thanks! Thanks, sis. Alright. So anyway, now we actually get to the real me of the episode here. Um, City so Escapes, extra missions. I don't know how long these are going to take, but obviously, we're going to do them all. Starting off with another- Oh! Queen again! Interesting! Yes. Queen the Rabbit is going to be another kill to use here. So we're going to push one. We have a new music track to show off. We're gonna be doing Marvel Zones, that's gonna actually be pretty new track. And we will exp and with this one, Queen is supposed to lend you the wings while you use them. But I don't think I am gonna be doing that. Yeah, I guess you can't ignore her, but she would probably get really mad at you. We'll see how much I need that. <laughs> They actually do give you one wing at the start, crap.
Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I know they don't have any moves, that's because I used it all at the beginning, so don't do that. <laughs> You're making Queen look useless! You are so mean! I don't like little girls. I'm kidding! No. You can't just say that! No! You can't just say that! We actually have two little ones roaming the house at all times! <laughs> okay, I was just saying that to make fun of Queen. I don't, I don't actually hate little girls. <laughs> That'd probably make me look like a horrible person. Yes, very much so. Ah. Alright, once again, I am not, I'm gonna avoid using Queen's Wings as much as I can. Just screw her and her help. You are such a dick. Don't mention it. <laughs> Alright, so about the goal here. Yeah, you guess that? Wait, I can't just mash the Y button? Oh. <laughs> I was thinking I could just mash the Y button and get that he'll give me all the way for the last second. So you want to look like a total jerk, I see. She might as Sonic might as well have just paid her and her chow to kill a, I think, 15 of their wings. Yeah, it's like Sonic would have, uh, um, his infinite wing space. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> at that point. But anyway, we have a note. Is this the one I think it? E uh, nope. Board of the board. Skateboard challenge. Let's put on another song. This is Green Hill. That's your song we've had since the beginning when I never shot it off. Which do you know shut off? <laughs> yeah, I felt like just talking about challenges. But you know, now you have a chance. Yep. This is just the original from Sonic 1, nothing new. This one, this challenge itself involves a skateboard. It is a really cool challenge. It has you just roaming around on a skateboard Sonic. Oh, you are gonna be most, you're gonna be actually skateboard Sonic for pretty much all the stuff. As it all has you know, clips. It is specifically designed to where you have to get for the entire time. And everything that you can do on a skateboard, you use pretty well efficient right here. So, you're gonna be really losing it. Yeah, and if you actually miss that jump with it, you can miss me a huge shortcut. Yeah, you can have a couple of moments thing for you, but you know. You're gonna be missing a huge shortcut and lose a lot of time. Crap. Ah, oh, crap! Alright, we're wrapping up here while we sit. Alright, with that one, there. So, like, hey, we don't want to listen to Queen Hill anymore. Nope. It, the, I will admit, the original is actually kind of annoying here, but... Either way, we still have some plans on the show. I actually know. Well, I'll be getting to show it off. Uh, oh, obviously, yeah. We saw a whole bunch of challenges to go. Alright. Sonic Heels! I really want to show that song off more. I the elemental shield, the fire shield. We will go for chemical plants on this side because I actually want to explain the fire shield. And it, oh no, I forgot to Electric shield and all its unique abilities. By that I mean it's one unique ability. <laughs> yeah, none of the elemental sh elemental shields after this allow as cool one as useful as the bow shield. No. This one allows you to get a double jump, so plus it again, you get a double jump. Yeah, the level is designed a lot, and it could help on some later levels. There is um, a level I'm going to be using it on, if I remember to. But Sonic can also face through anything electric stuff, so any one of those lasers... Uh, what? <laughs> Dude, I could have used her to save that! What the hell, man? Why is the kill point that low? Um... I don't know. Something I want to see is someone complete this challenge without the bubble sh without the button issue. I say on like the bubble shield challenge, I think that one might be impossible actually. It might be designed a lot of most of the time it's dodging spikes and other things, you could easily damage each other. Yeah, basically, so maybe. Oh. Nice driving, bud! 
It's probably not even someone else driving, it's probably just a war bus. If it's just the way I'm going to run, then probably! Crap. Crap. What, Sonic? Really? Double jump is not normal. Landing on the thing and then jumping. Wow. Something that made me nosy is that not every time he double jumps, he actually makes the defenders just suffer. Yeah, sometimes it's just ditched entirely. I don't really know why that happened, so. It might be just because you actually get so quick with the game, actually thinks it's a normal jump. Maybe. Or maybe so on, close to the end. Maybe. And I just realized what's coming up next. Yep! One of the annoying challenges in the game. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for it. Here we go to cheat. Um, so I'm probably do some stretching and stuff. At your mouse like you don't want to do stretching. Guys, I just waste on you. Crap. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to head all the way back up here, so. That's the only thing about the escape skips down, is if you want off it because you have to chase a music you know, or whatever. Um, you have to head right back up there. Yeah, it's not even city escapes, so that hill also has a problem. Yeah, because you actually have to go up city um up higher, you know, that's on an extra platform now. You have to go for that extra platform in order to get the seaside hills on challenges, so. That's kind of annoying, but anyway, we have to dash for one, two, three. And Sonic Heroes, personal favorite song from this game. Okay, all from Sonic Heroes. You made Sonic Heroes? One of them. <laughs> okay, you said that like it was actually your favorite song in Sonic history. Heck no, but it is still a really good song. Give it a listen. So anyway, this challenge involves you going through wings and dying. Yeah, that's a very important part of the challenge. Oh, at the beginning. It's only a minute back. Don't be that mad. Alright, we'll catch you when we get back now. Alright, so we're back here. I'm going to try not to die again. Just please don't have me on the other side the exact same point again. What embarrassing have what embarrassing thing have I not done on camera? What is I don't really want to add anything that I wasn't either. I don't think I would do either actually. You shouldn't want to. Alright. Ah. Alright. So with that glorious song and that challenge in the way, we move on to another one. Probably not as glorious. Would you even call that challenge glorious, honestly? Nope. Alright, we got what? Well, uh, this one's got no voice. Ah, they already come back to me even though I didn't play the level. Yeah, you played something very similar. I do wonder why they brought back this song of all of all songs. Yeah, it seems like I wouldn't want to be back.
Okay, this is not the same song. Uh, this is probably one of the advanced games. Maybe. So anyway, this challenge has a whole bunch of um it's moving cylinders if I would call them. And a lot of symbols and stuff, you know. What would he done? Yeah, you didn't even try to do that one. Yep. It's a really short challenge. I have white point. I guess that means you gotten half the challenges? I guess so. That was achievement for getting all of them, so maybe that is what they were falling to. It's a possibility. I don't want to go back down there, it's too long. It's... Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now you get to try to make up the Vapid Quest song challenge. Ugh. It's probably not funny. It's probably just a reference to the fact that most people ignore class song. No, not this challenge! Yeah, this is probably one of the most difficult. Ugh. Okay, so this challenge involves you wasting Luna to the goal, along with her returning her bombs from Sonic 06. In that game, she threw bombs as, all, as weaponry, and that's how she attacked enemies. Here, it's basically the main obstacle of this level, and the most annoying thing about it. Yeah, so avoid Luna, you get your stun though. I think that's gonna help. Yeah, if you jump into her, which is very hard to do on my ad, you can't actually stun her and stop her in her class. Another unique gimmick is that um, these cat catapult things become from Starbase Zone, so they get some use in this game. This entire thing is just avoiding losing bombs and getting people to kill. Cool. Man. I mean, if the whole bomb may have made it look easy now, but wait till the end. Yeah, she's still singing now. Wait, you can get to the end. Yeah, but well, not that far away, actually. As you can see, if you're not careful, it gets more and more dangerous to go fast. Yeah, I don't know where she is at this point. Yeah, you, you gotta catch up. I'm trying. But I can't exactly do this fast without, you know, running off your face. I mean, obviously, yes. I think I just saw her, baby! There he is. Wow, she did a lot. Well, this is not expected, I mean. But here's when she gets dirty, placing them here. There we go. Why'd she... I guess it's not a waste of the goal, it's just simply get to the goal. It's kind of lame. <laughs> well, then you would have lost. Okay, sure. But anyway, as that challenge, I was joining it, but it wasn't all that bad. It's still kind of annoying. We're going to Salvo. We have, um, oh, right there, right off of Sonic Rush. I'm going that one. Playing for the next level. It's one of my personal favorite songs in the game. Yes. Alright. So, this one's just a normal, um, you know, waste, the normal double game waste, something really special here. Except for one. This music.
Alright, that's enough. I already messed up and met Mrs. Skateboard, but whatever. Push is not the right on. I don't think so. I think that's the only one. Actually, no, you're right. I told you. So you can grab this one. Take the little halfway out of this thing. Still so get it, so nice there, huh? Woo! Yeah, fortunately, Sonic will most will end up losing the skateboard by going the bottom halfway. Because of that, um, I guess, trampoline. You can call it. Yeah, both trampolines are the way up. Yeah. What? <laughs> what the fuck game? <laughs> oh, I thought you could skip that rocket. Oh, don't skip things. Skip all that. Well, now I know. They don't think it's a bad idea. Way more fun, but a bad idea. There we go. I got a fucking B one. That just shows how bad like that. How bad that was. I think you only have like a couple more seconds. Wait. Really? Maybe I don't know. I have to check that editing. <laughs> Not worth the artwork. Yeah, considering how how many they are, we've already seen. I'm not showing them all. Plus, we won't even get them all because um, so, um, most of them are walk behind the red wings. Yeah. So the only well, actually, technically speaking, I would run my hundred percent fire. So, no, we just missed it, but obviously, you know, in the West Wing fire, we won't have them all. Because I am going to get some sort of hundred percent fire for the show off what the red wings do. Or what you caught. Once you collect them, as well as once you collect them, you set them, as well as show off one extra little detail that not many people actually know about. And I've always and for a little while I'd seen this place, and I was really questioning about how to get there. You will see that in the bonus video. Yep. Thanks, I really do appreciate it. So anyway, this one involves some switch flipping being, being at the bottom there, but it was just an old stage, you know. There was one stage in particular that I can't wait to see. And I don't know if it's in Seaside you know, or in Crisis City. But it has a very really interesting gimmick for switches so where you can easily just skip it. Oh, I know what you're thinking of. Yeah, it's coming out. I think it's in, I think I'm pretty sure it's in Seaside Hill. Yes, so it's coming out. Yes. So. I know what challenge he's going to, but I'm done with you. Yeah, because it doesn't actually even involve a switch. No. But either way, you'll see it. Next time. Where are you? Ah, there we go. No level complete, you have one more lot of to go. Yes, so what do we do? Alright, uh, a new- Oh! Here's a heavily hated song. So, a new venture. This is from Sonic Rush Adventure. Many people say this is one of the worst vocal songs in Sonic history. Due to it being really annoying. I don't have that opinion on it. Which is why... You're gonna listen to it. I know the mind of story. Uh, I'm actually in the, my, in the majority on this one by saying it's annoying. <laughs> I personally don't think it... I personally think it's actually pretty, a pretty good song, so... We're gonna have you listen to it. Unless Steve is just that big of a jerk and just doesn't have it quite that I won't do that.
I still don't understand why everyone hates this song. It's it's kind of glorious. I will admit, Sonic Rush Adventure, the game it's from, is pretty bad. Like that game has good plot in it, has good ideas and stuff, but a lot of people don't like it. And it's all because of Molly the Raccoon, who this song is going to be fe uh, themed after, so I guess it makes sense. But I don't. I don't really even really mind her. She's kind of like a queen type character. Huh. But, you know, she has her moments. Like, in the game, the ways literally tell us a lot. So, I think you can tell that even the queen is like that. To a degree, yeah. But once again, we have that really unnecessary sob way that this gun truck of Helen has in his arsenal. It totally needs that. Totally, totally. Alright, almost done here. Yeah. That out one is gun truck and your bullet challenge to go. I don't recall what that challenge is. I don't know recall most of these challenges. Yeah, the ones I recall most of them are I don't remember where they appear, but I, when I see them, I know them. It's gotta stay with me, honestly. Should they only get down this thing? Alright. A very hand song, played over a pretty good level. Alright, that means you have one more challenge to go. Then you're free. That's actually a Sonic song. I know. It's actually probably the only good thing about Sonic Free Riders. <laughs> Some of Sonic Blue Eyes had horrible controls. It was from the it was from the Connect. Um on the Xbox 360. Now if you guys know anything about the Kinect, you will know that the Kinect had a horrible motion sensor. Yeah, the Kinect could not censor a single thing and off and I guess you don't need to use yourself. No. But it connected could not it it did not work in most games, and Sonic Free Wise was a big example of it not working because Sonic does not respond to your movements. He rarely ever turns like he's supposed to, so you have to go get a freaking 90 degree angle in order to make him turn, and you have to do very certain things. So, so you have to do certain movements in order to get Sonic to actually do the things, and they're supposed to be simple movements. Like in the game, they show you it as a simple movement, but it's a lot harder movement. Because for some reason Sonic doesn't respond. He didn't respond there either. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, oh, crap. Good job. Game controllers. Oh my god, I died three more times there. Good job! Ah. This remix is so good. It's Again, the remixes in this game of the actual themes, they are so good, too good to not listen to. Yeah, for sure. Alright, I'm actually almost done here, so I'm gonna call it for free. Yep. There you go. Alright, with that, right there, that is it for today's episode of Sonic Generations. We will see you guys next time as we take on Seaside Hills Challenges.
and I personally would like a boy. That's fine. Again, we record these over a month in advance, so this is perf it's perfectly fine if you want to stop it. I can perfectly understand. But uh, anyway, um, we're going to this final music track, and then we will end the episode. Okay, Hying Fly Goo. Um, I'm gonna get to the balance. I think that's like the gravity one from Sonic. Why does your gravity find it? It's not why does it? Yeah, what is it? It sounds comes. You'll see what it is next time, as we will probably even need money. Yet. Well, anyway, we'll see you guys next time. For that, and see you guys here. Challenge yourself. So.